Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Rahmadu Cahyani with student numbers triple two three double two double zero five zero. Today I'm going to tell a story called Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near the forest. She always wore a red riding, riding cloak, so everyone in that village called her Little Red Riding Hood. One morning, she asked her mother if she could go to visit her grandmother as it had been a while since they seen each other. That's a good idea, her mother said. So they packed a nice basket for a little girl to take to her grandmother. And when the basket was ready, she, she put on her red cloak and kissed her mother goodbye. Remember, go straight to grandma's house and don't talk to strangers. The woods are dangerous, her mother said. Don't worry, mommy. I'll be careful. And then the little girl walked through the woods and then she met a wolf. What are you doing here, little girl? asked the world with a voice as friendly as he could. The poor girl the poor girl did not did, didn't know that it is dangerous to stay and talk to a wolf, said to him. I'm going to see my grandmother. Does she live far off? asked the wolf. It is beyond that mill you see there, in the on the first house in the village. The wolf had a very great mind to eat her up, but he dared not because because of some woodcutters are working nearby in the forest. Listen, little listen, little girl, haven't you seen those beautiful flowers that are blossoming in the woods? Why don't you go and take a look? It is very beautiful," said the wolf. The girl thought. If I take a bouquet of flowers to grandma, she will be very happy. And then she she was she was going through the woods looking for flowers and each time she picked one, she thought that she could even she could find an even more beautiful one. And she ran after it, going further and further into the woods. On the other hand, the wolf ran, ran as fast as he could, taking taking the shortest path the shortest path to the grandma's house. It is not long before he he, he arrived at the, the at the old woman's house, and then he knocked at the door. Oh, thank goodness! Do come in, my dear. The poor grandma did not. They didn't know that the knock was not her grand her granddaughter. The wolf let himself in, and poor Granny did not have time to eat another word before the wolf grabbed and ate her up. <coughs> the wolf let out a satisfied bird, and then she jumped into the bed and pulled the blanket over his nose. A few minutes later, the little red riding hood arrived at the grandma's house and knocked at the door. Who is it? said the wolf in a cackly voice. Your grandchild, little red riding hood. Oh, do come in, my dear. The little girl, and when the little girl entered the house, she could hardly recognize her grandmother. Grandmother, your voice, your voice sounds so odd. Is something the matter? Asked the little girl. Oh, I just have a cold, uh, said the wolf. But grandmother, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my dear. But grandmother, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear. But grandmother, what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with, my dear. And with that, the wolf jumped out of the bed and 
Aid the Little Girl. The end. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.